Hi everyone, welcome to MedSketch. The toxin of the day is opium. For ease, we have named the scene as Poppy Desert. As opium is obtained from the poppy plant, other names are Afim, Khashkhash or Khashkhash and Post. So let's discuss about the category of opium. So beside the poppy plant on the left side of the scene, you can see a brain shaped plant representing the category of cerebral poison. So let's talk about the fatal dose in fatal period of opium. Fatal dose of opium is represented by a wooden board on the right bottom of the scene, which tells the distance of 200 miles, representing the fatal dose of 200 milligram. So let's talk about the fatal period of opium. So you can see a car on the right side of the scene and on the number plate of card it is written 9 to 12 so the fatal period of opium is 9 to 12 hours let's talk about the active principle of opium active principle is not much important in much of the toxins but one of the questions were from opium's active principle so it is represented by p and b logo on the car on the right side just above the number plate so it contains several alkaloids which fall under two groups there is a phenanthrene group and benzyl isoquinoline group the phenanthrene group contains morphine codeine thebionine benzyl isoquinoline group pepravirine noscapine narcotine you can remember two or three of them morphine codeine or narcotine which you find easy so these were the active principles let's talk about the mechanism of action so the mechanism of action is represented by old hakim or doctor there is a bubble on top of the doctor showing opium plant so basically uh, the mechanism of action is very similar to that of morphine so it acts on the opioid receptors you would have remembered the kappa delta and mu receptors these are the various opioid receptors that are present in the cns so when these receptors are stimulated there is decrease in the intracellular calcium concentration and there is decrease in the release of the neurotransmitters also there is hyperpolarization of some of the neurons and it makes them uh, likely less responding to pain so you have seen the pain reducing effect of morphine so these are the basic mechanism of action so let's talk about the sign and symptoms of the acute poisoning so the sign and symptoms of the opium poisoning are represented by three friends who came to the poppy desert for the sake of fun most likely and they are suffering from the sign and symptoms of the acute state so basically there are three stages first one is the stage of excitement second is the stage of stupor third one is the stage of narcosis represented from left to right characters so let's talk about our first stage that is represented by the guy in the red t-shirt that is in a drowsy state with the bottle in his hand and figures above his head so it is representing the stage of excitement this stage is absent if the dose is taken in large amounts in adults there is sense of well-being but that is for a brief duration laughter hallucination as represented by the figures above the head rapid heart rate and in children convulsions may occur second one is the stage of stupor that is represented by the man in the green shirt that is holding his head and sitting on the ground the excitation stage is quickly followed by fatigue headache giddiness feeling of weight in the limbs decreased sensitivity and a strong tendency to fall asleep as you can see the man is holding his head and other features might be the pupils are contracted lips are cyanosed the pulse and respiration are almost normal the next stage is the stage of narcosis represented by a guy that is lying flat on the ground with the red t-shirt with the bottle in his hand with his belly exposed so it is the stage of narcosis and it is quite important patient enters a deep coma state and he is unable to awake reflexes are eliminated and the muscles are relaxed the pupils are pinpoint 
and they do not flinch in response to light the blood pressure falls pulse is rapid and feeble skin is cold and the temperature is subnormal that is hypothermia kind stroke type of breathing can be found so the stage of narcosis is very important you have to remember reflexes are eliminated as the person is lying on uh, the ground deep coma pinpoint pupils kind stroke breathing so the diagnostic points are very much important and to highlight these point we have made a mnemonic on the tent on the right side of the scene that says pcr p stands for pinpoint pupils c stands for kind stroke respiration and cyanosis r stands for the opium smell or raw flesh like breath coming from the mouth and rapid breathing so you have to remember pcr pinpoint pupil you have to remember kind stroke breathing and raw flesh like opium breath coming out of the person for ease of remembrance there is an owl sitting on the top of the tent that is having pinpoint pupil you can also see a dog that is eating flesh so in order to remember the raw flesh like breath from the opium poisoning you can remember the scene the chronic poisoning is similar to the stage of narcosis if someone asks about the chronic poisoning so the following sign that are seen in the stage of narcosis you can reciprocate the same and there are also dermal scars from the repeated injections of opium pinpoint pupils anorexia amnesia etc rest you can uh, remember from the acute state of narcosis an important test that is used to detect the presence of opium is known as marquis test to represent the marquis test we have a sorcerer merlin wearing a purple robe and a hat with the letter 3 in front of merlin there is a mirror with the blue child the sorcerer is present in front of a lake so what does it represent so the merlin represents the marquis test the hat represents the letter 3 so 3 ml of h2so4 and 3 drops of formalin are mixed with a suspected fluid that contains opium and a purple color that turns into blue indicates the presence of opium or its derivative so the purple color of robe is converted into the blue color of baby to remember the conversion of the color and the hat represents the letter 3 that represents the quantity of the fluids 3 ml of h2so4 and 3 drops of formalin are mixed with the suspected fluid and if the color of the fluid turns from purple to blue it indicates the presence of opium so let's talk about the post mortem appearance of opium or morphine poisoning so it is represented by the mirror of merlin which shows the blue child so the blue child represents cyanosis on head and face and distended neck vessels as you can see the color of the nearby lake is black that represents the post mortem lividity in case of the opium poisoning the body fluids and blood is probably black in this case so you can remember the black lake as a representative of the post mortem lividity in the middle of lake you can see a brown stone or boulder that represents the lumps of opium that are present in the stomach of the individuals so you can remember cyanosis post mortem lividity and lumps of opium that are brownish in the post mortem appearance medical legal importance of opium is not much important but it is the poison of choice when it comes to suicidal intentions because it is very easy to procure and causes a painless death when used it may be used as infanticide it is written in the literature that accidentally or accidental poisoning may occur from drugging of infants to keep them quiet from an overdose of medicinal preparation but i don't think so it is of that much importance let's talk about the treatment of opium poisoning so you can see our uh, classic gastric lavage bottle in front of the pcr tent so gastric lavage first with tap water and uh, with potassium permanganate is indicated in opium poisoning you can also see a red kettle on the left side of the gastric lavage bottle and there is coal in front of the bottle so tea 
टैनिक एसिड इन एनिमल चारकोल मे बी यूज टू वॉश आउट द स्टमक सो यू कैन रिमेंबर एंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द एंटीडोट्स एंड द ड्रग्स दैट आर यूज ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द सीन यू कैन सी अ बिल बोर्ड दैट इज हैविंग सम नेल्स एंड एक्स एंड इट सेज नैलर स्टोर इंडिकेटिंग दैट नेल्स एंड एक्स आर अवेलेबल एट नैलर स्टोर so the nalers store here represents the specific antidote for opium that is nalorphine it is given iv and for ease we have made the billboard nail and x represent nalexon nalexon and it is a pure antagonist for opium alkaloid and it is drug of choice nowadays it is given iv or im so you can remember from nail and x nalexon available at nalor store that represents the nalorphine next to the x there is a poster of a don that says desert don so a drug known as methadone can also be used in the treatment of opium poisoning also along the tent you can see our respirator or oxygen therapy symbol so artificial respiration can also be given so let's up on the treatment gastric lavage can be given tea and tannic acid or animal charcoal can be used to wash out the stomach we can also use nalorphine at is is the specific antidote nalexon is a pure antagonist for opium alkaloid we can also use methadone additionally we can use body warmth or purgatives or enemas may also be used along with the conservative treatment so here was our sketch of opium if you have any questions feel free to ask till then take care for detailed literature of toxins refer our textbook excel forensic medicine and toxicology available at all major medical bookstore all over pakistan